Hi, this video is an overview of polyterranes. We'll see together what it is, how powerful it is, and how simple it is to use. Polyterranes allows you to switch the rendering style of Unity terrains between normal rendering, low poly rendering, and cubic rendering in just one click. This means you can build the shape and texture your terrain as usual, using your favorite tools, and then change its style so that it looks low poly or cubic, like in Minecraft. Instead of relying on an entirely new terrain system that is not compatible with usual terrain tools, you can rely on standard Unity terrains and just change their mesh on the fly. So, now I will show you how to use polyterrains in a new scene from scratch. You'll see, it is very easy. Alright, so let's start by creating a new scene. Okay, basic one. Alright, here we go. First of all, we will create a new terrain. So as you see, it is just a normal standard built-in Unity terrain. Um, we will just sculpt it a little bit to be to make it more more interesting. Okay, whatever. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Let's put some texture on it. Um, I will just add some very, very simple layer, uh, like a, a green one, which is just, um, it's a pure green texture. Actually, it's not really a texture, but this will uh, fit very well with the low poly style rendering. Let's add another one like um, um, the gray one, which is good to to uh, make some, let's say some stone. Okay, okay, whatever, okay. All right, now that I have my terrain, uh, I will just add polyterrains on it. So it will look like a low poly rendering terrain, a low poly style terrain. Because right now this is smooth. You see the 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 surface is very smooth. But I don't want that. I want a low poly terrain. So I will just click on tools, poly terrain, setup. Here we go. So this is the exact same terrain, except that the the meshing, the polygonization of the terrain surface is made differently. It is made by polyterrain and um, it is made so that every single triangle in the mesh um, has its own normal and is uh, visible, which produces the low poly style effect. Okay, so we can click on polyterrain master and as you can see, there are a few settings, but it's like very, very simple. There is, uh, there is not much more to, to configure about it. If I disable the draw button, I go back to the built-in Unity rendering. And if I enable it, I switch to the low poly style. If I select my terrain, uh, I will see that the poly terrain component has been added here. And we have the same settings there, but um, the polyterrain master object actually exists just to um, to make it easy to change the settings of multiple terrains at once. So polyterrain supports multiple terrains. All right. Now let's say I want to uh, make this terrain cubic. Um, I will just switch the style here from low poly to cubic. Oh, 
Interesting. I have a, an error here showing up. This is because in order to uh, create cubic style mesh and to, uh, to have a, a proper material for it, the, low, the poly terrain master needs uh, what we call a cube UVs asset. So a cube UV asset is something you can create with a cubic material maker right there, and which is provided with polyterrains, of course. And it allows you to map um, different terrain, lay terrain layers with, um, uh, you see, with Minecraft-like uh, cubicle textures with the top, sides, and bottom texture. So let's do this right now. Um, remember my terrain has two layers, so I will just create another layer here. So I now have two layers and I will configure the layer zero. Let's pick up a top texture. Let's say the top texture will be um, dirty grass and the side texture will be the, well, dirty grass side and the bottom will be dirt. All right. And now layer one, uh, which is the stone. So I will just pick up, pick up some some, uh, some stone like, um, you know, like Minecraft style stone. All right. And the same on the side and the bottom. All right. Perfect. So we have uh, our two layers properly defined. So now we can just click on generate material. All right, the material has been generated and has been assigned here. The cube UVs, it's a new asset that we just created and has been as, uh, assigned here. So now Polyterrain has everything to create the cubic mesh. And as you see, we now have a cubic style mesh, just like, just like in Minecraft, for example. So as you see, in just a few clicks, you can switch between uh, standard smooth terrain, low poly style terrain, or cubic terrain. You see, if I switch to low poly, I'm back to the low poly style. If I disable the draw, I'm back to smooth unity style. Uh, so it's just one click away. One thing that is very important and very interesting to notice is that the, the under, underlying structure of the terrain is still a unity terrain, which means all the tools you are used to use for your terrains will still work. For instance, if I pick up the standard terrain tool and if I just edit my terrain, you will see the change being reflected on the cubic mesh in almost real time. I will just re-enable the terrain collider, which was disabled by default by Polyterrain because it doesn't fit the, the cubic style uh, collision, of course. Uh, so I will just enable it again so I can edit my terrain. Okay, and as you see, when I edit the terrain, the mesh is edited in real time and that that's I mean that's really the 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 internal unity terrain structure is really modified as usual um, once again if I disable poly terrain I see that my terrain data was already changed within unity I enable it again I switch to locally everything is up to date if I need to edit massive areas, like very big areas, like this, you will see that uh, it is very slow to update. See, it's not, it's not, it's not good enough for uh, proper real-time uh, editing. In this case, the best thing to do is to just disable the draw, make your edit however you want, and just enable it again, which will just refresh the polyterrain mesh. All right. 
So that's cool. But that's not all. Because another thing that is cool with Polyterrain is that it perfectly integrates itself with Digger. So let's add Digger to the scene. Digger, set up terrains. Okay, don't care here. All right, we have a Digger master. Um, we found the two terrain layers, of course. And um, now if I edit my terrain, you will see that uh, it won't look right because it will still have the uh, normal um, uh, normal aspect. So you see, it's just, it, it just doesn't work here uh, at all. But I just actually need to add one thing. This is very simple. In the digger master object, just add the poly terrains, digger polygonizer provider. Just add it. Click on Sync and Refresh, and here we go. Now Digger is able to produce, to create, to generate cubic style meshes. And this is the same thing if I try to, uh, to dig. All right, let's dig a hole through the mountain. All right, and I can, of course, switch the layer as usual in Digger. And that's it, you see? So here you have something that that can really look like Minecraft, actually. You even have a new operation named setCube in, in Digger that allows you to um, edit the terrain cube per cube, just like in Minecraft. So let's zoom a little bit. Okay. All right, let's add a cube. Oh, okay, there is, there is, um, that's, Actually, a, a problem here because the the height of uh, a voxel is not the same in digger and in the terrain. So we definitely need to fix this. We have to go in digger settings, click on auto voxel height, clear, okay, and now it is properly aligned, okay. And of course, I can uh, set another type of cube, and I can. Uh, I can remove some cubes as well, just like you will do in Minecraft. So as you see, in just a few clicks, uh, we have really a, a terrain which is which has almost the same capabilities as a Minecraft-like game, except that we have a big advantage here. We can still use the standard Unity terrain tools. This also work with low poly style. So if I switch back to low poly style and select digger, I click on sync with terrains because I change the style of my terrain. And now I will just dig as usual. And you see uh, digger is also able to, um, well, to generate low poly style meshes. So this is perfectly integrated. I can just switch again to cubic style, go on Digger Master, click on Single Refresh, and I'm back to cubic style meshes. Just a few clicks away. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and you enjoyed the asset. It is available on the asset store. If you need uh, to ask some question or if you need some support, of course, we are available on Discord. Bye-bye.